adding sound to a virtual machine. Hey there, this is uh, Tom with Tom's Tech Show, and um, thanks everybody for uh, liking and subscribing to this channel. It's 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 good. It's growing every week, and I appreciate that. It's if so, if you aren't subscribed, make sure you get down there and click that button so you can get all the new videos when I put them out. I still do videos about uh, you know technology, of course, maybe some movie, TV reviews, different things. Um, uh, often I make videos about the Orville, one of my most favorite shows in the world. Um, just such a good replacement from you know the old Star Trek episodes of the day. Uh, but I also have a new channel called Tom's Talk Show. Again, another one abbreviated TTS. I wanted to keep that theme uh, going, um, Tom's Talk Show, and that's more hard-hitting things about real deep politics, uh, things going on uh, in the news and stuff like that. So if you want to head on over there, um, there'll be a link below in the description and uh, subscribe to that channel and get some more content. And you can you know, lambast me and tell me I'm wrong or, you know, whatever you want and have fun over there i'm a big boy i can take criticism i can take the hits <laughs> you can't do be on youtube and not and not take the hits right so uh yeah but anyway thanks everybody for subscribing to this channel if you're not subscribed make sure to click the subscribe button down there uh, that really does help me out and uh, lets me know you want more videos okay today uh the video today is going to be uh, about i've got a virtual machine set of virtual machines uh, that users uh use kind of as their desktop. So it's Windows 10 loaded into VMware. And the problem is uh, when you uh, load that up, if you see there the little sound thing, it has an X through it that it doesn't recognize that it has sound audio hardware. So when you remote desktop in, you don't get any sound, you don't get anything coming out. Um, VMware doesn't provide a real easy way to plug this in and make this happen. Uh, so we've got to SSH. So you need to go into VMware, turn your SSH on um, and be able to get SSH into it. So here we're going to SSH into as root into our system, enter the password, then it's going to say, you know, we're, we're here. Then you need to navigate to the directory of the virtual machine that you want to update. So this one's in uh, my it when you first enter it the name you know colo san you know nas san whatever it goes to that but then it expands it out to the big quid so you don't have to try and figure out which quid it is you just go to that and it's uh kind of aliased to that and then you go to the virtual machine that you want to edit in this case it's a cisco box it's going to be using for uh cisco telephony so you definitely need audio in order to use that box remotely as a phone. Okay, so then we're going to VI the uh, VMX file. So my Cisco Win 10 template VMX file, we're gonna open that up and edit it. And down here in the bottom, I've added some lines down here in the bottom. So you move all the way to the bottom. And if you know VI commands, you hit you know I for insert, go to the end and enter. A couple of times and then you can add these lines here at the end we're gonna make them a little bit bigger um, we're gonna say sound equals dot present equals true sound allow guest connection control equal false sound virtual device is HD audio uh, sound file name is minus one and sound auto detect is true so you add these at the very end of the file uh, and then we come back and do a uh, oh, that slides in the wrong spot we do a hit escape, hit colon, and then WQ will write the file and then quit. And then when you go back in, you start up the VM. Uh, again, of course, you have to have the VM off in order to make any of these edits. You start up the VM, and then you'll get this high-definition audio device inside your virtual machine and be able to connect to it, uh, you know, use, have, you know, have it play the Windows sound, whatever. Uh, in this case, we're going to be using it as um, a, a telephone, uh, soft phone, in order to work and interact with uh, a Cisco, probably a UCCE or UCCX uh, system in order to get, you know, some testing and stuff done for a um, phone system. Okay, so that's pretty easy. I mean, that seems pretty easy, pretty, pretty straightforward once you get into 
you know the whole thing and you'll be able to put in these commands i'll put these this text into the description the sound present you know hd audio and all that stuff then it will show up as if you see in here it shows up with high definition audio device and that's what we were looking for and then it uses and plays the sound all right that one's pretty easy pretty straightforward um if you have any questions about how to get the audio working in a virtual machine um, there is another way you can kind of do it you can take something from uh, vmware workstation and uh, convert it and push it up and get this audio in a vmware workstation and push that up that's kind of a legacy thing from vmware workstation that allows you to move it up to uh or convert it into a v regular vmware um, host uh, virtual machine and be able to push that up you can do it that way as well but this seems this is more direct for me and more exact since there's not a lot of extra devices and things that get converted from VMware workstation so you can just go in and, and edit this file and make it work this stuff seems to work better uh, when I've been setting it up so all right there you go make sure if you got any questions to ask um, and like share and subscribe remember my other channel Tom's talk show thanks for watching all the way to the end have a good day Thank you.